This is Twit. Admittedly, this one's a kind of, this is on the, the edge of what normally I would, the kind of app I would show. Um, but considering we've been waiting for it so long and it just came out, I really had to jump on it. Um, we talk a lot about video players and we talk about which video player to use on your tablet or your phone and all this sort of stuff. And I'm a big MX player fan. And whenever you talk about video players, inevitably somebody, or, somebody always says, oh, I wish that VLC was on Android. Well, now it is. VLC uh, released a Android app. Uh, and it's in beta, so again, it gets that beta tag. Be careful. Um, your mileage may vary as far as what you get, but it's a, a full running version of VLC that works on Android, tablets, phones, whatever. You got your little cone that we're so used to seeing, um, and tap it right here. And you get, they've really integrated the, um, the current kind of uh, design with the color bar along the top, which is pretty cool. Um, you tap the tap the side and you can uh, reveal whether you're looking at video or audio or a file directory and a history of all your stuff. Um, it's pretty much got all the act, the the stuff of VLC that you know and love on the desktop. Um, we go to play something. Here's a little teaser for the Batman, the complete television series. Um, when it comes up, we've got this. So you can control brightness on the left and right side. Eh, I lost it. You control your volume on the left and right. Um, you can lock the screen. You know, it's pretty much everything that you want in a player. It does the automatic flip. And there you got it. So, um, you know, if you've been waiting for VLC, this will, this kind of answers every all your hopes and dreams. Right, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, of course, of course, I, I think my app is, is going to blow yours out of the water. Of course, yeah. But, but I will say uh, this everyone should get. Right yeah. now, everyone should get this. VLC is yeah. awesome. Yeah, VLC is great. It's open source. It's awesome. We should, yeah, it's, it's a great app. So, Ron, have you spent a lot of time with it? Does it is it as good as MX Player? Does it if you throw uh, an MKV at it or a crazy fi video file format, does it work like it does on the desktop? I mean, on the desktop, I feel like that thing play, VLC plays anything, right. anything you give it. I li um, I literally installed it this morning, so I haven't I haven't <laughs> thrown enough. I haven't thrown a ton of file formats at it, but I am going to be now. The thing is also is that it's important to note, unfortunately, because it's beta, it's not uh, compatible with every device. So, for example, it's actually not compatible with my Nexus 7 as of right now. I have the old first-gen Nexus 7. Um, it's uh, This version of the app is compatible for um, devices running the ARM v7 CPU or the x86 CPU. ARM v6 devices will be supported in a future release, they say. So, um, it's one thing to note that, you know, so you got device compatibility is one of the hurdles with this beta format. Um, and as they warn, it's still in beta, so it might kill your kitten or destroy your house, but it should be mostly fine now. So just be careful. Get it. Um, get but it. Yeah, just but, get it. But get it. Get it. What, what, no brainer. What harm? What harm could get it be? It. Um, I'm going to throw as many of the file formats as I can at it and see what it um, see what it does. But so far, um, I, I ran a MOV, as you saw, on an MKV, and it worked fine. So, um, And i got to imagine that the folks at VLC would not have put this out there if it didn't um, if it didn't have the ability to just do what VLC is known for and be like this, the, the most superior video player, you know, right. open source kind of right. option. So, um, but it's really great on the Google Play on the Google Play uh, Store page. They've got a whole list of the features that it has. Um, so, play you know plays most of the local plays most local videos as well as net network streams. Um, and then uh, it also supports multi-track audio and subtitles. It's got a widget for audio control um, and that sort of thing. And they what's really great is that re they're really upfront about what it's missing. You know, so they're saying that there's a lot of stuff that's missing. It's going to be um, the things are going to be changed for the final release. Um, hard co hard hardware decoding works only with a limited set of hardware and other unknown issues, which I feel like is a good catch-all. <laughs> but um, <laughs> unknown, yeah. So, uh, but VLC for Android, the wait is over. Download it, check it out, see if the beta is enough for you to uh, to be if you're brave enough to try that beta. I know earlier we said to to be careful, but I feel that this one is okay. So go for it.